The most important natural resources we have that is indispensable for our socioeconomic development. Unfortunately, we are not maximizing uh, the utilization of the river for socioeconomic development. The river Gambia is a gold mine. Bright morning sun is beaming over the city of Banjul. Travelers set on their perennial journey across the River Gambia to the coastal town of Barra. It is a 30-minute journey that many embark on every day, but beyond the two coastal settlements. Domestic trade and business are vibrant thanks to the River Gambia, which has been an important source of transportation for people, goods and services. On a daily basis, ferries and locally made canoes ply the various river routes, carrying people on different missions. But the majority are traders transporting merchandise to inland or coastal settlements with sizable populations. 
The river extends some 700 miles through the entire length of a country bearing the same name. It has its source from the Futajalon Highlands, flowing through Senegal before intersecting with the Atlantic Ocean at Banjul. The river Gambia provides access to some settlements in Senegal and Guinea, with nearly 70% of its surrounding land lying less than 100 meters above sea level. And you can also realize that the river is, is very important because you would have to cross the river Gambia from either the southern bank or the northern bank if you want to travel from one bank of the Gambia to the other. And uh, we are envisaging to have a bridge across Yulitenda, Bamatenda that would enable free flow of goods and services from the north and the southern bank and from uh, the Gambia to our neighboring country. River Gambia is the flowing, that may do really do it. River Gambia is a blind. River Gambia is a good. The river has both an estuarine and freshwater ecology, defining its surrounding vegetation pattern. During the dry season, uh, because of the, flow, the slow flow, you have salt water coming from the Atlantic moving towards uh, Kuntawur. So because of this constraint uh, for agricultural production, we cannot rely on pump irrigation for agriculture because every 100 cubic meters or every cubic meters of fresh water that you pump from the river would attract salt water towards the upper end of the river, that is the eastern part. Salt water intrusion affects some peripheral environments, especially in the dry season. Whilst in certain areas, the riverside is dominated by swamps and mangroves. Where the water is fresh, the banks are lined with gallery forests. There is captivating wildlife upriver, where dolphins and crocodiles manifest a strong presence. But they have a more domineering neighbor, the hippo, whose massive size and attributes remain a mystery to many locals. The natural habitat provides sanctuary for a host of insect and bird species that fill the environment with sonic melodies. This has been a fete for bird watchers. As you know, we have over 560 species of birds and you can access those birds through the river. You can also do hunting on the river and other sporting products. So in essence, what we're trying to do as part of our strategy to develop our product is to make sure we look at the River Gambia in total and try to develop it for the betterment of tourism in the Gambia. The River Gambia is joined by numerous creeks called Bolons. Among them the renowned Bintang Bolong on the south bank which flows into the river from the south. Legendary Mini Minyang Bolong, across which stands the famous Babili Mansa Bridge. An epic reference.